Man, it's scorching hot out here. Shoot, it's already the 20th. Summer break's almost over. Too bad there's nothing to do. <sighs> this place is so boring. Get out of my way. I can't see. Move. Uh, sorry. What do you want? Uh, nothing. My bad. Dude, what's with that outfit? And what the hell is she drawing? Man, I'll never understand art. Oh well. This year's going fast. It's already second semester. Next year, I'll be a senior. <laughs> that girl. You again. Um, well, uh, I mean, I'm surprised you remember me. Same here. Well, you kind of stand out in that dress. So, what are you drawing? Nothing. Why? Uh, no reason. I was just thinking, must be nice to have something you're really into. It's no big deal. I only draw because I like to. Oh, yeah? Still, I'd like to see it when you're done, okay? Hmm. So, we meet again, huh? That's because you keep coming back. I'm Junpei. What's your name? You live around here? Hey, wait! Your hand! I said wait! You're hurt! What is it with you? Why don't you mind your own business? But you're bleeding for crying out loud! Come on, show me your hand. You need to put some pressure on it. Why are you in such a panic? Are you crazy? Anyone would freak out over this. You need to see a doctor. You want me to go with you? You're weird. Chidori. Uh huh? That's my name. You asked, right, Junpei? I'm almost done with the picture. I doubt you'll understand it. But if you want to see it, then you know where to find me. Yo, Chidori. How's your hand? I don't see anything. I, not even a scar. Did it heal that quickly? Hey Junpei, what do you do to make yourself feel alive? Uh, I don't know. Breathing, I guess. <laughs> you know, I never really thought about it before. How about you, Chidori? Is that why you draw? Maybe, but most of these are just scribbles. I don't understand myself very well. I see. Mind if I sit here? To tell you the truth, there is one thing that makes me feel alive. When I get to play hero. In the darkest hour. Unknown to all but a few, the Chosen Ones stand against the forces of evil. 
Our hero, Junpei, fights to protect the world from these terrifying monsters. <laughs> well, you get the idea. That's when I feel most alive. Hmm. Um, <laughs> you're supposed to laugh. So, do you fight all alone? Hey, I, I, I was just kidding around. You fight during a time that no one knows about, right? So then, no one knows what you've been doing either. That means you'll never receive any recognition. I'm impressed. I didn't know you're that kind of guy. For real? You actually believe me? Tell me more. You really want to know? Okay, but don't tell anyone, all right? You see, there's this special power called Persona, and only those who have it can defeat the monsters. That's what I meant by the Chosen Ones. My friends are fighting too, and ever since I joined them, we've been kicking some serious ass. Sounds like fun. Are you the leader? Because it sounds like you're pretty strong. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I guess you could say that. I mean, <laughs> without me, things would just fall apart. Someone's gotta be in charge, after all. It's pretty tough being a leader. Thank you, Junpei. I had fun today. Y you did? It's time for me to go. I'll see you tomorrow, right? <laughs> tomorrow, huh? All right! Man, she wasn't at the station today. Maybe I should check again. Yeah, on second thought, I'd better stay put. The operation's tonight. Now that I think about it, we're fighting to protect her too. Dude, that so rocks! Maybe we really are, like, heroes! Yeah! Don't move. Huh? Tonight marks the sixth full moon. Do you detect a shadow? Yes. It's, it's near, near Polonia Mall. Mall. I think. You think? For some reason, I can't quite pinpoint its location. But I'm trying to narrow it down. Is that its power? I don't know. We have enough to go on. Did you find Iori? I can't find him anywhere. His backpack isn't here, so I don't think he's been home yet. <sighs> that idiot! He knows tonight's the night. I don't sense him anywhere nearby. Should I take more time to look for him, just in case? No, it's okay. You're all young. Sometimes you just get in one of those moods. Anyway. We should focus on the task at hand. We can't afford to waste any more time. Let's go. Wait, did he say anything earlier? All right. believe how easy it was to sneak up on you. Are the others here just as oblivious? Damn it! I can't use my power! This 
isn't funny! Chidori! I want you to do something for me. I have new orders for you to give to your friends. Surely you have the capacity to communicate with them. Me? Give orders? If you do as I say, you won't be harmed. All you have to do is call off the mission. Easy, right? And not just the one tonight. All of them. You want me to cancel the mission? You're not one of them, are you? Quit wasting time. <sighs> Congratulations! I no longer sense its presence. Oh, and also... I think I found Junpei. He's back at the dorm, but something seems strange. The chairman's there too, so he should be okay. But let's hurry back just in case. It seems they've completed their mission. What? You can tell? Yes, through Medea's eyes. Medea? My friend. Chidori. That's not important. Why didn't you call off the mission? Is it worth your life? Dying is what people fear most. Isn't it? Well, I've never actually given anyone orders before. They wouldn't listen to me anyway. You see, uh, I'm not really the one in charge. So you were lying earlier. Why? I don't understand. Hey, answer me this. Was it all just an act? Us meeting, your wound, the picture... Were you just setting me up? Now that I think about it... That cut healed pretty quickly. <laughs> I see how it is. That was... Junpei? They're back already? <gasps> She's a Persona user. Medea, come. Chidori, stop! No! Give it back! Hmm? When did she... Sorry, but we can't let you use this. Medea! I... I didn't sense her up until this very moment. This is my only power, and yet... If even Fuka couldn't sense her, then she must have some sort of power to conceal her presence. I didn't have the slightest clue she was here. Are you a member of the group that goes by the name Strega? I have a number of questions for you. Clearly, she's emotionally unstable. We'll let her rest, and save our questions for later. Chidori. I'll ask you once more. Is Chidori your real name? What kind of organization is Strega? Are there others besides you three? Junpei! You're not supposed to be here, remember? Chidori! 
and Junpei! <sighs> Sorry. He wouldn't stop bugging me about this place. How are you feeling? Seems like you've calmed down. She certainly has. In fact, she won't say a word. Maybe we should confiscate her sketchbook, too. Hey, come on. What good would that do? That won't make her talk. I'm not so sure about that. She was quite upset when we took her evoker. Speaking of which, where did you get that? Medea! Give it back to me! I want her back! Hey, I told you not to bring that up, didn't I? Then what am I supposed to do? I'll have someone else try next time. Yukari, call a nurse. We're done for today. I'll inform Yakutsuki san of the difficulties we're having. Why? Why did you take it from me? Medea? Come on, Junpei, let's go. Chidori, wh what happened to you? So, Yamagishi, do you sense anything? By refusing to speak, you're only hurting yourself. We aren't keeping you here because we hate you. We just want to avoid unnecessary confrontation. How's Chidori? Again? What's your obsession, Junpei? Did she say anything? Can I just talk to her? Iori, it seems like you're letting your emotions get the best of you. Is everything okay? Well, not exactly. I know she attacked me, but I can't stop thinking about her. Junpei-kun. I'm glad they let you keep your sketchbook. You really do like to draw, huh? It doesn't matter. She spoke. No one else but me can understand my pictures. Chidori! Again? Why are you bleeding? She does it to herself. No, I thought I'd removed all the sharp objects in here. Apparently, we can't leave her unattended for even one moment. But fortunately, she heals at an astounding rate. Let go of me! Then, at the station, you did that to yourself? I never asked for your help. You were the one who misunderstood. Well, I want you to stop. You can't be doing that. It's not right. And I won't let you. The doctor will be here soon. You two should go now. All right, let's go, Junpei-kun. So, you seem to have found your voice. Hey. Yo, Chitterita. Don't call me that. Come on, cheer up! I brought you a new sketchbook. I thought your old one might be getting full. That wasn't necessary, Junpei. <laughs> you said my name. 
I was worried I'd never hear that again. Any luck? She finally started talking, but nothing useful yet. Well, that's a start. So, why are you here? <gasps> Shidori, what's, what's wrong? <gasps> a persona? Relax, it happens. They're not like us. They can't fully control their personas. That's why they need to take suppressants to keep their personas from killing them. Suppressants? You know about Strega? You'd be surprised what you can learn on the streets. I'll give the doc the right pills. The rest is up to you. Shinji, wait! Hey! Thank God. I thought you might be. Why do you look so scared? Death is nothing to be afraid of. What are you saying? Dying just means you don't wake up anymore. That's all. What? You don't really mean that, do you? I don't want you to die, Chidori. Junpei. Just because you're not afraid doesn't mean no one else is. Did you ever think about how I might feel? <laughs> you're so weird, Junpei. <laughs> Look who's talking. No one else is coming today, but they said we can't give you back your evoker. I wasn't expecting them to. That's why they started watching me in the first place. Oh, how's that cut doing? Probably already healed, huh? So, uh, how come you're not drawing today? Does it matter? Well, uh, not really. Hey, they're all dried up. I guess it's been pretty hot lately. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Oh, what was that? I made them healthy again. You can do that? That's incredible, Chidori. It's nothing special. You have powers too, don't you? Well, yeah, I guess, but that's about all I've got going for me. Without that, I'd be a nobody. i just talk a big game, pretending like I'm some kind of hero. But in reality, I don't know what the hell I'm fighting for. Or why I'm here at all. Why? Why we are here? When I was a kid, I had this crazy dream. What kind of dream? That one day I'd grow up to be a pro baseball player. Pretty stupid, huh? I guess that's part of being a kid. Is that so? I don't remember much from my childhood. All I remember is... being surrounded by white. Huh? I hate hospitals. Yeah, me too. <sighs> I'm sorry. But I don't mind that much this time. Since you come to see me so often. Chidori? I... I understand. I won't let you down.
You weren't quick enough, huh? According to the news, a typhoon just hit. Supposedly it's the biggest one on record. It's moving slowly too, so it'll be around for a while. Yeah, thanks to that the school festival got canned. Well, <laughs> setting all that stuff up is a pain, so I don't mind. But it sucks that we'll be stuck indoors. So, how are you gonna spend your break? So, you're a slacker after all, huh? What about you, Fuka? Me? Well, the only thing I plan to do is go to the movies. Oh, a movie. Is it a date? It's... it's not like that. I'm going with Natsuki-chan. She absolutely loves movies. But with this typhoon, I don't know if we'll be able to go. How about you, Yukatan? Will you still have practice? I doubt it. The archery range is outside, so it's most likely cancelled until the storm blows over. Same here. This stupid typhoon is gonna mess up my training. What about you, Senpai? I haven't decided. Besides, what business is it of yours, Iori? Me? Well, I'd be happy to tell you about my plans. I suspect that you will be visiting Chidori-san. Although she has stabilized, we cannot release her. Man, Aichan, you must be psychic. And you know what? She wants me to come. Not to brag or anything. I, uh, just thought I should check up on her. You know, with the storm and all. What's up with him? Um, well... Oh, yeah, Kenkun. What are you going to do during the break? Oh, nothing in particular. Come on, you have to be doing something. Well, I'll probably go visit the shrine. Dude, you're a kid, not an old man. But that's where I always go. I guess you could say I made a vow. Anyway, I'm going back to my room. I have a lot of homework to do. Oh, okay. Call me if you get stuck. The chairman's room has been cleared out. Well, that's no surprise, considering what he did. I just can't believe all this. It's in the papers, too. Sudden death of Kirijo's group CEO. They blame it on illness, though. Yeah, it's never the truth. Mitsuru Senpai's not here, huh? She's an only child, so there's a lot of matters to be settled, including a funeral and the family business. I'm sure she'll be busy for at least a week. That sounds rough. I hope she'll be okay. So, what are we supposed to do now? What'll happen to Chidori? No word yet. They're probably too busy to be thinking about that. In fact, the entire Kirijo group must be in a state of shock. I hope I guess is alright. What the hell? Am I just supposed to wait for them to get their act together? Mitsuru is meeting with the board of directors. That might explain the delay. I see. But still, what are we going to do? We have no idea how to get rid of the Dark Hour. We don't even know what we're fighting against. What was that he said about the fall? What would have happened if we'd been sacrificed? There are so many unanswered questions. Yeah, but standing around here won't solve anything, right? Mm, true. But there is one thing we know. Tartarus is still around, and there's a bunch of shadows inside it. 
We should train so we're ready for whatever it is we might have to face. Yukari-chan. Um, there were traces of a video on the chairman's hard drive. Most of it was deleted, but I was able to restore some of it. I thought you might like to see it. Thanks, Fuka. I'll watch it later. Yo, Chidori. Sorry about not being able to come lately. A uh, lot's been going on. Hey, what's wrong? So you heard about Takaya and Jin, huh? I was planning on telling you. They were your friends, after all. What? That's not it? I'm scared. It hurts. Junpei, what will you be doing in two years? Two years? I don't know. I really haven't thought about it. Why do you ask? Hey, I, I noticed you stopped, you know, uh, hurting yourself. Oh, I guess. That's good. I mean, you have such beautiful hands. <gasps> Don't touch me! Oh, uh, sorry. I, I didn't mean to... This is too painful. It used to be fun when you came to visit. But it's different now. Huh? It hurts inside. I can't breathe. I... I can't take this anymore. What do you mean? I... I don't understand. D did I do something wrong? Tell me what it is. Junpei... Don't come here anymore! But... Chidori... to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. I trust you do not need to be restrained. Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. You must come with us. Death is not to be feared. You need only fear. Yes, I know. Excellent. It's all his fault. 
Since the day I met him, I've experienced nothing but pain. And I've become afraid of dying. Hey, hurry up, Chidori! Yamagishi sent something. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? Don't tell me it's... Strega. They're still alive. First the Dark Hour won't go away, and now Strega is back? What's happening? How many are there, Yamagishi? There's, There's only one, one but... I thought she was in the hospital. No. She's... She's inside! Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori? She's speaking through Yamagishi. I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to do something about it. Come to me. What the heck? I thought she was... Junpei, do you know what's going on? Junpei! No, damn it! I have no idea! Just leave me the hell alone! J Junpei? Junpei, wait! This is most likely a trap. But we're dealing with Draga, so we must pursue this. And if we confront them, we may gain some insight into our current situation. Please, be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two may be nearby. We'll have no idea what they're planning, so choose your allies wisely. We'll go after Iori once you've made your decision. Chidori! What's going on? Why are you doing this? It doesn't make any sense! I mean, I know I'm not that smart, and I've done a lot of stupid stuff, but we shouldn't be fighting like this! Junpei-kun, look out! Wow! Ch Chidori! Why? Get back, Junpei. It's useless trying to reason with her. No! It's too dangerous! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun, but please, just back up! Chidori! I told you, don't touch me. Dory, please, tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is... Attachment. Once I become attached to something, I fear that I will lose it. That's why we only live for the moment. But you, you brought me pain. Pain that I didn't want. Pain that I never asked for. Huh? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear that my time with you will end.
That's why I... Chidori? I'm sensing... What? What is it? So then... There you are, you sons of bitches! <sighs> Chidori... I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean, you friggin' ghost? <laughs> I am no ghost. Fate permitted me to live, even though I wasn't attached to life. You might say I was... chosen. You bastard! I've made up my mind. I won't let you do this to her anymore! I'll protect Chidori with my life! Chidori, don't stay with them! Come with me! <laughs> Look out, Junpei! I'm so happy you're awake. Chidori? Huh? I... I thought I was... I... I was wrong. I was scared and I blamed you for my heartache. I never felt that way before I met you, Junpei. And for the first time in my life, I... I realized what I wanted. And what is that? I... I want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... I am... Um, I... I want to be with you, too. But it could never last. I'm different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. What? Knowing that scared me. Because I had never really thought about dying. And it made me realize that I wouldn't be with you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is how it should be. You can't die here, Junpei. Die? of mine. Her persona doesn't sense life, it emits life. But in order to revive a person, she must... Chidori! I can hear the life pulsing through you. <laughs> I will live inside you, and we'll be together, forever. What are you saying? Chidori? Chidori? I'll protect you, Junpei. Always. I I'll protect you too! Please! Don't go! to be with you. Chidori! 
Thank you, Chu Pei. I love you. <laughs> this can't be happening. Chidori. Chidori, answer me. Chidori. What a pity. Such a meaningless death. Meaningless? Hmm? That was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to reciprocate. Takaya, don't! What? What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Release me! Don't forget about your mission! This is just a waste of energy! I have something much greater to accomplish. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, I will let you be for now. But know that the day I shall finish this is soon approaching. Trusted you with this life. Don't waste it. <laughs> Chidori. Chidori, I. I. This is so hard, but it's not just my life anymore. Junpei. Cheer up, Junpei. Yeah? So what do you want? This came for you. It's from the hospital. That's... They were going through her items when they found that. I know I have to snap out of this. But it's just so hard. Hey, Junpei, can I take a look? You wouldn't be able to understand her drawings anyways. Wait, is this...? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't be able to understand it? Uh-huh. 
It's a detailed portrait of Junpei-san. Chidori. <laughs> Junpei. like she's telling me to stop moping around. She must be looking out for you. I promised to fight to get rid of the dark hour. And I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. It still bothers me a little. But I want you to know that I'm counting on your abilities. Junpei. Hello? It's me. I'm sorry for calling so late. As for what to do with the new arrival, I would like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinguishing features, we may be able to locate her family and... I can't shake my suspicion that the Kirijo group is tied to Strega in some way. Because of this, I think it would be disrespectful to the deceased to cover up her death. I will, of course, take full responsibility. Huh? What did you say? Transmogrified? Y you mean the corpse? But judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... Understood. I'm sorry, but this must be kept strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Well then. What's going on? Hmm. We'll have to wait and see what happens for now. Huh? Junpei-kun? Ah, oh, hey, Fuka. What are you doing here? Nothing, really. I come here when I'm feeling down. Is that Chidori's sketchbook? Yeah. This is where I first met her. What are you doing here, Fuka? Oh, I went home for a bit. I've been going back there a lot lately. I see. You know, you've really changed, Fuka. You're totally different from when you first came to the dorm. Really? Yeah, you were so timid back then. But now you're so... strong. You've changed too, Junpei-kun. Yukatan said the same thing. But I don't think so. I mean, just the other day, I got all freaked out about being scared. I am such a wuss. <laughs> That's not true. But I really was scared. Actually, I'm still scared. But after thinking about it, I realized that I don't want to lose my memory. If I forget everything, that means I'll forget Chidori, too. And I wouldn't even be alive right now if it wasn't for her, you know? So I say F that. You're scared because you're not running away. That's nothing to be ashamed of. Fuka. 
That's why I want to protect everyone. Think about it. The Dark Hour is really scary too, isn't it? But our persona's awakened, and we're here today. The future hasn't been decided yet. And I want to be true to myself. True to yourself? You're really something, Fuka. We should fight. I agree. I'm sorry to ask so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Uh, you want all of us, or just him? Just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. Isn't it kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to him? Probably some big, important student council business. Nah. Maybe so, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, if the high muckety mucks don't need us, might as well go home. Hey, wait a second, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to clean up for him. Have fun sweeping the hallway! What? Where did that rule come from? There's something you have to know. Do you remember the girl named Chidori, who was with Strega? I don't mean to alarm you, but... The fact is... There's a chance that she may wake up today. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die in front of our eyes. However, her body began to undergo transmogrification a few days after the incident. For the past few weeks, she's been in a state that is neither living nor dead. I don't know. It may be related to her persona abilities, but that's mere speculation. But what I wanted to talk to you about is your opinion on how to break the news to Yuri. You see, she's probably... Mitsuru here. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's unbelievable, but although we had confirmed her death, it seems Chidori has come back to life. Iori? Did I hear that right? Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No, it's not a joke or a trick. She is currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But... Iori... She probably... Chidori... Chidori's... alive? <laughs> uh, hey, Junpei! What about your cleanup duty? Jeez, what's gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now. But perhaps it's best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this, too. Could I ask you to come along? Huh? Junpei? You took off that fast, and you still haven't gone inside? Well... I mean, it, it's kinda... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to storm in. I agree. Iori? Huh? 
Her damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Is it... really you, Chidori? I'm not dreaming, am I? Dreaming? It is you, Chidori. Who are you? Huh? What? I thought as much. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I suspected that this might be the case. This is Mitsuru-san and Junpei-kun. They were your friends last year. Friends? My name is Chidori Yoshino. I'm sorry, it hasn't quite hit me yet, but it seems I don't remember any of the past few years. It's as if I was dreaming for a very long time. Chidori Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then, but as for you all... Iori. Nah, I think... It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about fighting and pills... When you're having a nightmare, it ain't a bad thing to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted him to be happy, and I... I think... there were flowers. A room filled with them. Ugh. Chidori, take it easy. You don't have to force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she remembers that part clearly, then maybe... Do you remember when she'd use her power from time to time to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Junpei-kun would come. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. That's why I kept them all for research purposes. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. And thinking back on it... It may have been that night that she began to transmogrify. The power to share one's life with others. Could it be that she reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, I can't prove any of it. But compared to how she was before, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but more than that. Excuse me, are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. Huh? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I can't lie in this bed forever. Supposing you do find him and meet him, what then? That's... <sighs> That's none of your business. Chidori! Two hearts reunited. It's a miracle. No, it's a victory. <laughs> Chidori! H hey! Why are you crying? I, I, I can't help it. Th this... This is seriously the happiest moment of my life! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. 